This just in, what a comeback by the Iowa Hawkeyes in the Big Ten Championship game. Down by eight with two and a half minutes to go. Caitlin Clark leads the Hawks back, forces overtime, and then the game-clinching steal to finish a third straight Big Ten Tournament Championship. Hawkeyes were 18 and a half point favorites, but they were up against it. A Nebraska team that beat Iowa the last time they played. Iowa returning the favor. Nebraska came from double digits down in the fourth quarter to win that last meeting. Iowa comes from eight down with two and a half minutes to go to take this one. Caitlin Clark, just four points in the first half, 30 when you combine the second half and overtime and just clutch shot after clutch shot down the stretch as Iowa gets it done and may have just wrapped up a one seed in the NCAA tournament. All right, let's bring in our women's basketball analyst, Christina Williams. That that was one heck of a game to watch, and, and what we watched there was greatness. How did Caitlin Clark and the Hawkeyes pull this off? Yeah, what we saw in the beginning was Caitlin Clark struggled to shoot. Nebraska's defense, they were able to control the pace. They put some mixed coverages on Caitlin. She went 0 from 9 from 3 in the first half and had only four points. And so I think the change for Iowa was really in that third quarter. They came out punching. They got back to the identity by go by getting out in transition and scoring, pushing the pace. And they did a better job at just being in control of the game. And so that's really how Iowa was able to come out with the win today. If you're a Nebraska fan, uh, I'm sure you go back to a possession with about two and a half minutes to go. You're up eight points. You just get a steal. You got the ball, a chance to work some clock, but they launched up a three with 20 plus seconds left on the shot clock. How big of an impact do you think that played in Iowa coming back? I mean, what I what Iowa and Nebraska was was able to do, I think both teams really did a great job at trusting their players. With Nebraska, I mean, what happened there was, you know, they just fell short. Time just ran out. They did a great job at um, getting Markowski and Potts involved in the game today. Jazz Shelley was shooting the lights out from three. Uh, she was able to help facilitate Nebraska's offense. But then Kate Martin, she hit those clutch shots after going scoreless in the first half of the game. She's that veteran player that Iowa needed to be able to give them that confidence to win in overtime. Uh, and that's really how Iowa was able to uh, come out with the win today. You know, Caitlin Clark's critics, they they might point to the fact that she doesn't have a national championship, but you continue to add titles here, a Big Ten tournament championship, and the way she performed in the second half, down the stretch in the fourth quarter, and then in overtime, how does this add to her growing legacy? As you mentioned, she's piling on the accolades, and this is just going to carry that momentum into the NCAA tournament. Uh, Iowa, I think that they've already done everything that they needed to secure that number one seed by winning the Big Ten Championship. I think that, again, if she is able to go all the way and win the NCAA tournament, she's definitely going to be uh, one of the greatest athletes that we've seen play the game but championships they're not going to define what Caitlin Clark has done for this game she's been able to change the game and the style of play the interest in the women's sports how she sells out arenas and so I think that you know she has nothing left to prove but winning that national championship will definitely silence her haters yeah and that's that's the next step I mean that, that, that's what Iowa fans are hoping for another run to a final four another crack at a championship how do you see them this season when you compare them to a let's just say a South Carolina for instance how does Iowa stack up against them and maybe some other one seeds that they might face down the stretch Iowa is a team that's peaking at the right time, and this is March. The regular season really doesn't matter when it comes to what happens in the tournament. I think that Iowa, what we're seeing right now is just the confidence level of all of the players uh, being boosted as they get more wins under their belt. Iowa, they have um, a very versatile roster. They are a threat offensively, and I think that what we saw here is that an all-around team effort will definitely be, be the thing that helps them compete compete with top contending teams like South Carolina going into uh, March. Christina Williams joining us here after a fantastic 
Big Ten championship game. Nebraska, heavy underdog, 18 and a half point underdog, pushing Iowa to the brink. They almost pulled the massive upset, but the Hawkeyes earned their third straight Big Ten tournament championship.